Okay, so I've left this story in the back burner for way too long. The final part of me and my crush. And I just want to say I am so sorry that I did not give it to you guys sooner. I should have gave it to you guys sooner. And I don't know why I didn't. But I guess this video will finally make up for that. So let's just get straight into it so I don't waste your time. Actually, that's a lie. I'm going to waste two seconds just to say make sure you guys do follow my kick. Because I'm streaming on kick, going live, and also telling you guys crazy stories just like this one. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and we'll get back to an awesome story. So today's story is the final part of me and my crush. If you guys didn't see that story, basically go back to the last two videos of basically where I ended up blue balling in front of my crush in my middle school dance. And also I ended up asking my middle school crush to the dance. If you guys watch those two videos, honestly, you guys will understand what happens. And basically now we ended up here. Anyways, last we left off, I remember basically I was walking home from the school dance all upset and really down, but I was getting text messages back to back to back on my phone of basically people saying that I should come back. Now, obviously I ignored it. I was too embarrassed and honestly, I was really shy. Like, are you kidding me? I literally had like blue balls in front of my crush and you expect me to go back? I couldn't. I was too embarrassed and I was so nervous. So I remember basically what ended up happening was I ended up staying at home, just playing video games. And even the next morning when I woke up, I didn't want to go to school. I was so shy and so embarrassed, but then I ended up getting an Instagram notification. I got an Instagram notification of funny enough my middle school crush liking one of my photos It was the photo that my mom took before I went to the school dance and I forgot I posted it But she ended up liking it and she commented under it saying can't wait to see you at school Like really are you actually excited to see me at school is what I thought in my mind because there's no way this girl was actually excited After I literally had blue balls and ran away from her in the middle of the school dance Like I said, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about go back to the last episode of this anyways going on from there though I remember I ended up getting my backpack ready and stuff because my mom always told me that I had to go to school and by that I mean she would take away my console if I didn't so yeah I got ready for school and I started walking to school as I was walking to school though I remember I was really kind of just walking really slowly because in my mind I was thinking if I go to school and I had to explain to everyone that I got a basic blue balls in front of my middle school crush during a dance I, I could never live with myself anyways I was writing my journal basically saying how I really didn't want to go to school and then I finally made it to the front steps. When I got to the front steps, I remember I opened the door handle and once I walked in, I remember seeing a lot of people actually staring at me. I don't know why they were staring at me. I don't know if it was because I had my shirt on backwards or it's because maybe I had my backpack kind of in a weird angle. I have no idea. But anyways, as I was walking through the hallway, I remember I ended up seeing my locker. And as you guys may know, I ended up getting my locker beside my crush's locker. So I remember as I was walking up to my locker, my crush was already there. I didn't want to walk up to her. I couldn't after what I did. So I remember I kind of just ended up turning around and walking away and basically trying to avoid her. And I remember I kept avoiding her throughout the whole day. Like, I think I didn't even go to my locker. You know what I mean? Like, I just couldn't. But then I remember when I ended up going into my math class, me and her, we sat in the same table group. And when I sat down on my desk, I remember I ended up kind of looking at her because she was literally sitting right across from me. It was like a super awkward dinner date with a girl that you just don't know how to speak to. So I remember I ended up just sitting down and then she ended up looking at me saying, Hey, Bubba, can I talk to you after school, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Is what I ended up telling her. I didn't know why she wanted to talk to me or why she whispered she wanted to talk to me. I was already embarrassed enough. Like she didn't have to tell me into my face. As at least that's what I thought was gonna happen. But I remember I ended up looking around the classroom and honestly, everything kind of just started to go normal. Maybe I was overreacting a bit when I thought, you know, maybe my world was over. But I remember after math class, I ended up going to my locker with her and we ended up talking. As we were walking to our lockers, I remember she looked at me and said, Hey, like, I just have a question. Like, was everything okay yesterday? And I ended up looking at her saying, Oh, yeah, like. Uh, it's fine. I, 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 I was okay. She ended up looking at me and she realized I was stuttering and said, listen, like, honestly, I heard a rumor, but like, I don't know if it's true. What's the rumor? is what I asked her afterwards. She ended up finally saying to me, well, like, I heard that, like, I don't know, like, you got, like, hard from me dancing with me yesterday. Where'd you hear that from? What? No, I, I would never get that hard, is what I said. And honestly, it's weird how people found that out as well. Like, I have no idea how people found out I got blue balls from my middle school crush during the school dance listening to Girl on Fire by Elisa Keys. But I remember out of pure embarrassment, I ended up just looking at her as she looked at me kind of, like, in a puzzled face. And I ended up saying... 
okay yeah maybe i got one and honestly i'm sorry i didn't know what came a hold of me and i basically apologized to my middle school crush that i had blue balls i apologize for having blue balls what man has to apologize for his giant eggplant to become giant i don't know i i was really upset and i remember i was embarrassed and i didn't know what to think and when I apologized, I remember I was looking at the ground, but then when I looked up and I looked at her eyes, she ended up kissing me. Yeah, <laughs> she ended up kissing me. I don't know what I did, but she literally just came up to me and just kissed me right in my face. And at that moment, I was confused. I'm like, wait, what? You just kissed me is what I said after she was done. She looked at me and said, well, yeah, like, honestly, like, no guy's ever been hard for me before. And I, I think that's kind of cute. You think it's cute when I have a boner for you? Where were you months ago? Sorry, sorry. That's super weird, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I remember basically after that whole thing, I was super like ecstatic. I was happy. I was freaking out. And then this is where things get worse. I remember there was my middle school, well, enemy, I would say in this situation. He ended up walking up to me and he was the lacrosse kid that was in the last two episodes of this story. He walked up to me and said, yo, like what? You kissed him? Are you kidding me? And the kid that played lacrosse ended up pushing me on the ground. He pushed me on the ground and basically started laughing. And then I I realized that my journal was literally on the ground as well because it fell out of my backpack when he pushed me i remember the kid that was like a lacrosse player that was also a bully in this sense ended up picking up my book aka my journal or diary as some people say but it's a journal and he started opening it and reading it he read how basically i was in love with my middle school crush he read how i was literally in love with her how i loved her so much how i was obsessed with her basically everything that a guy should not be reading about another girl and i remember he looked at and was reading through it and was laughing and laughing and he said it out loud to other people in the hallway to the point where i stood up i walked up to him and i don't know what came a hold of me but yes i did do this and i regret it so badly i kicked him in the eggplant yeah i kicked him in the eggplant i was so, so embarrassed and i remember when i kicked him he ended up dropping my book i grabbed it and i saw my middle school crush's eyes as she was like kind of like tearing up thinking how like adorable it was for what i did but i didn't know that i thought she was embarrassed from what i wrote in my journal so i ended up running away i ran outside to the oak tree that was outside our middle school and i sat down and started writing down what just happened i honestly i never felt a more depressing day than that one it sucked i didn't know what to think to think that you know i get kissed and the next minute i get exposed for just being being me it's just it doesn't make sense anyways after that situation i remember i was sitting down and just kind of just i don't know being all sad it got to the point where after writing my journal i ended up reading my batman comic book and that's when out of nowhere my middle school crush ends up seeing me again she walks up to me and sits beside me beside the oak tree and she's like honestly baba like that guy sucks okay just don't listen to him he's just a jerk yeah i know is what i said to her afterwards she looks at me again and she's like baba listen honestly i think you're awesome and i think you're adorable i think you're cute i i really like like you too really is what i said because i didn't believe it to be honest it felt like it was something straight out of a movie she was explaining to me but then she ended up putting her hand on my hand that was on my comic book and she ended up saying also my favorite superhero is catwoman what is what i said at that point i knew me and her we were gonna be in a really good relationship but at the same time though i will say this much we were in middle school so our relationship wasn't that crazy but it does get crazier throughout the school year but anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like i always say just fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories peace out guys